This video is definitely not a revolutionary idea, but I felt like doing a more lighthearted mental workout, so... Always eat the one you love. If someone were to say that color didn't matter in the Saints Row series, it would be like saying Maggie T wasn't burning in hell. Color is up front in Saints Row. Even with the grim and dim visual aesthetics of Saints Row 2, color still finds a way to pop out at you. Every gang is represented by a color, and because color symbolism is my foin little addiction, let's talk about what these colors are saying, along with other aspects of their looks, I guess. Why am I not getting healed right there? There's a soldier to get you. Okay, I didn't know that. Both the OG Saints and the New Blood Saints are represented by the color purple and a fleur de lis. Purple is commonly associated with royalty and it's a color of power. It's also a color of luxury and since the customization of the series obviously focuses on the saints, it's very easy to buy into the luxurious lifestyle of being a saint when you can stylize them yourself. In general, purple is just all around a loud color like yellow or red. In purple's case, it demands that you bear witness to it through the lens of looking at royalty, which fits the saints perfectly. The fleur as a symbol also perfectly represents them. The fleur de lis is connected to two things, the French monarchy and Bible folklore. The fleur de lis, aka the lily flower, is associated with the Virgin Mary and is said to represent virginity and purity. And you hear this and think, well, that doesn't describe the saints at all. You know who else it doesn't describe? Western monarchy. Lengthy disclaimer. I'm specifying monarchies in the West because... I live in the West. I have no doubt that royal families in other parts of the world employ the same type of legitimization with the same level of debauchery. But it's particularly important for me to stick to Western monarchies because monarchies in places like Eastern Europe, Asia, and the Global South are already heavily stigmatized as is. However, the Western world is the one that set the precedent that we should expect savagery and barbarism from these parts of the world while heavily prepping itself up as better because we don't totally behave that way in the West. Think about how Aztecs are vilified for human sacrifices, but what would you call committing a genocide against an indigenous group in order to build your promised land? Is that not also a human sacrifice? Or is it different because you don't see indigenous groups as human the way you are? What about sending poor people off to fight in a meaningless war in order to make money through profiteering? Is that not also a human sacrifice? So with that out of the way, let's keep going. Western monarchies have a history of presenting their statuses as if they were chosen by some divine power to rule so that their reigns could be unquestioned and they can be seen as untouchable. They're presented as this standard that people should strive to be and worship, yet behind closed doors or even in public, they're more debauched than the average AO3 user. Their divinely chosen status is a costume. Much like it is for the saints, it's obvious irony. It's like meeting the most easily pissed off person ever and then finding out that their name is Patience. Because of the fleur, it makes you think of more French royalty, which obviously makes you think of the French Revolution. And it brings us right back to the saints. In both versions, their personal mission is to be this revolution to the other gangs that have control over Stillwater, Stillport, and Santo Eleso. Even in the Agents of Mayhem timeline, this is echoed through their battle against the control that Legion has over South Korea. But like most empires, the saints are always destined to fall or crumble in some way, shape, or form. Yes, they build, but they do crumble. It's a never ending cycle of life and death. And a big part of that that I find interesting is how it can still connect to their inspiration being the French monarchy. The French revolution happened because the people were starving both physically and financially. There are only ever a small select group of people that are on some form of decent terms with the saints. There's no love loss when the saints crumble. And that's because they don't really make the lives of their common folk any better. By the end of every game, the only thing they've changed is which color-coded gang is committing more of the gang violence. The saints don't have a community, they have stands. It's one of those understated aspects of the Saints that I really wish Saints Row 2022 would have fleshed out a bit considering this version of the Saints have a Gen Z millennial Robin Hood vibe that they present themselves as and how that clashes with their desire to have a criminal empire that will inevitably do harm to the community the same way other gangs did harm. Especially because it would have definitely been something that could have fleshed out the characters' relationships with each other. Especially Eli. Eli had the makings of a traitor, but with the right work, so does Kevin and Nina. I just think about that a lot. Like, of course, every game is the Saints having to rebuild something. 
They build with shitty foundations. They don't actually help the community. They don't run shelters in Stillport. They don't fund rebuilding efforts in Stillwater. And their solution for other people struggling in Santo Aleso is to just join them. And yeah, you can argue that it would sour the mood of playing the game for some people, but this is still the understated tragedy. It's kind of like the Dance of Dragons or the Blackfire Rebellion. The war and politics is fun to read and watch, but at the end of the day, we are witnessing a family willingly do the most to kill each other for a crown. We're not just watching the saints take the fight to these gangs. We're watching them declare that they're the only ones allowed to exploit a community, that they're the only ones allowed to employ this level of destruction. Why should any citizen just trying to live their life miss them? And that's probably one of the more bigger tragedy of the saints. Why should anyone miss them? Obviously, I'm not going to do all of the gangs in one video because that would be too long. And do you see these spaces that already exist between my uploads? What I am going to do is just combine them if they share a color because it'll be interesting to compare how differently each gang uses the same color. But I've been Miss Hexley and I've already seen you. Hey.